In today's video, I'll be showing you guys a software that helps you protect your artwork against AI generated art. We'll be using a brand new tool created by the University of Chicago called Glaze, which basically adds a cloak to all the artwork you post online so that it can't be used in AI generation and essentially stolen by AI artists. It's been a huge talking point within the AI and even the art community on what is morally and legally correct in AI art generation. People are very upset that AI can basically steal any artwork it finds online and use it in its own generations without any permission. And there's finally tools that can combat this, which I think is very cool. The entire discussion around the free use of AI art is very valid, and I'm excited to see where this progresses progresses. So before I show you actually how to glaze your artwork, let's explain kind of what it is and its risks slash limitations. So the way glaze works is that you upload one of your photos and it basically changes tiny minuscule portions of your image that go unnoticed by the human eye. However, online it gets completely distorted so that when AI generations pick up your art, it can't tell that it's your art style. So let's say a famous artist like like Vincent van Gogh who has his unique style if you glazed all his art AI would not be able to tell what is the Vincent van Gogh style because each individual piece of his art is going to be differently online even though it's going to look the exact same to the human eye and this is called glazing this is summarized in this little graphic on their website showing the process and how it helps out artists protect their artwork. Now I will say I believe this type of technology is probably more prominent in artists who have consistent artwork like an art style that they keep to they stay to and they don't really change up their art style. This wouldn't really apply to artists who have completely different art styles. Each art piece they do varies drastically. It wouldn't really yield the same results because they're naturally constantly changing up their art style. Additionally, this is a beta version tool, meaning that it is very new and there is some limitations to it. Additionally, AI art generation is advancing at such high speeds that glazing could go extinct in a couple weeks from now as they find new ways to get around it. However, in the meantime, glazing does work and I would recommend it if you are interested in protecting your own art style online. So in order to glaze your artwork, you just want to go to the website. I'll have link down below and go to their download page. On their download page there will be options for Windows, Mac. I went with the Windows because I'm on a Windows computer and downloaded the software and then we're going to install the installer. Now I did get a Windows Defender error basically saying it's unrecognized app and this is just because the app is like literally a beta version app but it is from the University of Chicago so it is 100% safe so we're going to run it anyway and as you can see my Norton third-party antivirus Stated that it was safe as well. Now, once your Glaze app is downloaded, you'll be presented with a page like this. I'm just going to full screen it. It's downloading some resources right now, but basically how it works is very, very simple to do. You just wanna to go to select once all your resources are downloaded. So you just wanna wait for that to be finished. It does take a little while to download all those resources, but in the meantime, I'll explain the other settings. So over here, we have the intensity. This is basically how much your art is going to be changed up. So the on the lower end, it will change less of your photo and basically you won't notice any changes at all. However, you're going to be less protected. The more changes, so going all the way to the very high end, the more changes done to your photo, the more protected your artwork is going to be. However, the more changes to your art that the visible eye can see will happen. So I do suggest just playing around with the settings, see how much comfortability you have and how high or low you want to glaze your artwork and what you believe is the perfect setting for your art. And additionally, the render quality kind of works in the same way. 
the faster, the less protected, and the slower it takes to render, the better protected. Alrighty, perfect. All of our resources have been loaded onto glaze. So we are going to select the images we want to glaze over. So in the select category, I got three images. These are just from Vincent Van Gogh, and they all consist of a similar art style. So I selected those and we have those three images selected. Then I'm going to just do a faster render time just for the sake of this tutorial. And I'm going to make the changes not that high so I'll set them to low just so we can get these outputted a lot faster and once that's done I'm going to save you just want to select wherever you want to save them so I'm going to select the downloads folder and we are going to run glaze now it's just going to render out these photos but glazed over so we'll wait for that to happen it's stating it's going to be about three minutes so we'll come back in about nine minutes after all three images are done and I'll show a before and after of the photos so you guys can see what the glazing process did to them. Alrighty, so the glaze software finally finished getting all our photos rendered and it actually did take a little while and I will say it is a resource monster. It takes up all the resources on your computer to get them rendered so don't expect to do anything else while it's rendering uh, because it used up every resource on my computer. However, they're rendered out and let's look at the difference. So the first photo here, here is the rendered glazed version and then here is the original. As you can see, I or as you can't see, I guess I should say, there's no difference. There is literally zero difference to the human eye. Now let's go to the next one. Here is the glazed version. Here's the non-glazed. This one, I still can't see. There is no difference in any of these. Obviously, I set it to the lower setting so that it wouldn't do as high of adjustments. But even on the lower setting, even with the third photo, there's no difference to any of these photos. But they are glazed and they're protected by AI. So yeah, guys, I hope you did enjoy this tutorial on how to protect your own artwork from AI. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like down below. It really helps it out in the algorithm and have yourselves a fantastic day. See you later.